This is the most depressing celebration of someone at, at work. This is Dave Ramsey's company, by the way. Of course it is. Uh, this guy's celebrating working two jobs and going to a code boot camp and graduating. And uh, I mean, good for him, right? Good for you. But look at this man's face. Does this seem like this was his idea? This looks very, very forced. The worst, listen to how forced it sounds. This just looks like virtue signaling so that you can post online about how you appreciate your hard workers. Welcome back to some classic corporate cringe. If you enjoy me tearing apart the corporate world for a living because you can't, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let's continue. I have a very special video for you today. Uh, first day back in the office. After 15 months of working remotely, it's time to get the team back together. And just who thought this was a good idea? Did someone say ice cream? Wednesday, July 7th, between the hours of 2 and 4. Why are you hugging? Stop hugging. Good morning, Joan Evans from HR, and we're going to welcome back all the employees at Connection in Merrimack. I'm whoever from HR, and today we're going to go to people's desks at their, look at the, look at this depressing cubicle farm behind her. The dim, dark lighting in there. It's been about 15 months, the employees haven't been here, and new hires don't even know where their desks are. Because they don't need to, because they've been doing their job just fine from, from their desk at home or wherever they were. So we have an HR table to help. Oh my God, these people have jobs. This is what they get paid to do. To waste, <laughs> come on folks know where they're gonna go. We also have product management to welcome their new hires that have never been in the building. We're excited to welcome everyone back. Welcome back, Connection. How long have you been here? Um, I've actually never been to the office. First time. Welcome. <laughs> first time in the building. First time actually literally in the office. But first day. I started oh amidst the pandemic. I started remote nine months ago. 10 months. Seven months. Four months now. Since 2019. Uh, almost two years. Uh, I think it's been a big change for all of us, but uh, it's nice to be back. Nice to see people again. What about the people that are like, why are we here? Why are we doing this? It makes a world of difference. Oh, okay. We have the Boomer CEO here talking about why it's great to have everyone back. Coming into the office, just the excitement level, the energy, and I think it also drives our innovation across the company. So I oh, look at that, dude. He had to like go through his Word database. Uh, it also drives... Doop, 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 beep, boop. Old ass computer trying to find the word. Ah, oh. drives our innovation across the company. And as we all know from the Harvard Business Review study, being in person doesn't increase collaboration. <laughs> it, do it doesn't, <laughs> especially being in an open office. I think it's a really important thing that we're all back together yeah. again. Now I can sit here from my private office and watch everyone else out there in what they call the bullpen, which is the most depressing term of modern America. Let's put everyone in a bullpen. Well, you know, I think there'll be a part of virtual that's always with us now. I think we are all forever changed, but clearly it's great to have everybody face to face again. Honestly, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is like people just coming and talking to me and not booking a 30 minute meeting. Is that real? Did they pay you to say that? Honestly, the thing I'm looking forward to the most is having people come distract me from this godforsaken job and ask me a question so I don't have to think about my job for two seconds and then they leave and then I go back to work. I love being distracted in the middle of my work. I'm so excited. For Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Stop by, ask a question, keep on moving. Stop by, interrupt me, introduce yourself. We can chat about my kids and what we did over the, the weekend. You know, I, I put the little swimmies on, um, oh, her name is Rachel, and we, we put her in the pool for the first time, and she just, she sank like a rock to the bottom. And but Really? No, but this is what... <sighs> All that good stuff. Uh, it's pretty awesome. I think it's a very good transition. My previous life as a... Look at this. How could you be excited to come back to this hellhole? These are, this is essentially an open office because they have the low walls. Like, you can't even back up from your desk. Look at this. If this guy tried to push his chair away from his monitor, he'd run into the wall behind him. This looks like the exact cubicle layout as they have in the movie Office Space. Hello, Peter. What's happening? I'm also going to need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too, okay? What a hellhole, dude. A retail executive, this never would have been able to even happen, so. 
Oh, he said, at my time as a retail executive, we would have never been able to work remote. I mean, duh, because you got to be in a store. It's retail. What? Why are you saying that? Like, it's, it's just, this is such a better company. No, your job is different. You don't have to be at the store to do your job. It's not the company. I'm very blessed to be able to work for a company that has this kind of flexibility. So it's nice to actually be able to work from home if I can. And I think the hybrid work model uh, worked well for us during the pandemic, but yeah. definitely excited to be back. Having some flexibility. Um, I definitely like seeing more faces in the office now. They're excited yeah. to be back. Everybody hugging out there. It's family's back. Right? No, it's not family. Back. I'm looking forward to, to seeing everybody here, collaborating. Getting nice. to converse, having a little bit of, yeah. uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one time with some folks that we haven't been able to talk to over the last year. The banter that you miss being home. It's going to be nice to actually put a face to the name. The banter that you miss being home. You are the reason I don't want to come to the office. It's extremely exciting to kind of put the face to, nice. you know, the virtual face. Nice. It'll be nice to meet new people in my row. <laughs> being back and being away from my significant other after both working from home for the past year and a half. I <laughs> That's her just admitting they have a really unhealthy situation at home with, with without boundaries. Oh, working at home, I love him, but like we need our space. Yeah, you need space, so have some space. Learn to make space while you're at home. Have some boundaries. Get away from each other. That's fine. Be a responsible adult. Communicate. I think there's a lot of us who would admit to that. Okay, so this HR lady here is also admitting that she's tired of seeing her husband every day. So one way we'd like to show appreciation is providing ice cream to our employees here at Connection. And as I was saying, we're really happy to have all our employees back. Here's some ice cream to make up for everything that sucks about coming to the office. Oh, by the way, it's only between two and four. That's what I think that sign said. Yeah, ice cream between two and four. Okay, but if you if you come after or before those hours, you're not going to be able to feel our uh, employee appreciation. Really happy to have all our employees back. Morning, everyone. So happy everybody's back. Yeah, right. This is a great day for Connection. Welcome back, Connection. Welcome, Welcome back, back, Connection. Good God. This guy's like, can I go back to my desk? Company culture here just screams, good old boys. Let's look at the Glassdoor reviews. Five stars, an outstanding place to work. A little reflection after my first sale in my new role. Basically simping. And then the ultra simp happens. A big thanks to Scott Nelson and Kevin Lamb for the endless support and coaching over the past couple months. And this is where they really kind of get their rocks off. I know it hasn't been easy dealing with my late night, letting you know I'm willing to work overtime, and early morning pings, letting you know I'm always working. Early morning and late night. This is this is what we call the company simp. It's when you do these subtle little, hey, by the way, late nights and early mornings, just so you know, just so, just so everyone on LinkedIn knows that these people know me, probably. And I was working late and early. No cons as of right now. Simp. No growth. Dead end job. July 14th, 2021. When was the video? July 13th, 2021. <laughs> the company probably sent out this, this huge email to everyone that said, we can't wait to have you back. We have some huge surprises in store for everyone as a token of our appreciation. And this dude got to work and they were like, ice cream between the hours of two and four. Welcome back. No growth. Dead end job. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, click thumbs up. It helps more people see it. Click subscribe if you want to see more corporate nonsense. Get called out. If you have some videos or some links you want me to take a look at, you can email them to me. That's in the description. You can join Discord. I got a, a corporate cringe channel and a garbage jobs channel in there. I guess you could just DM me on Instagram or something too. But anyways, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. See you guys in the next one.